The NFL draft is two weeks from this upcoming Thursday, and mercifully, we're just getting closer to selections. <clears throat> the Draft Network posted their latest seven-round Minnesota Fighting Vikings mock draft, and overall, pretty fired up about it. Let's get into the picks. Up at the top, number 14 overall, AVT, Elijah Vera Tucker, guard out of USC. 6'4", 314, redshirt junior. 2019 as a redshirt sophomore blew up, uh, played 926 snaps, all left guard, only one sack, seven pressures allowed, 78.8 PFF grade, first team all pack, 12 USC offensive lineman of the year, stud. Played left tackle at, for USC in 2020, it was pretty damn solid there as well, but he will be a day one starting guard for the Vikings. Rick Spielman was at the USC Pro Day, and I think that if the big three offensive tackles are off the board, Penny Sewell, Rashawn Slater, Christian Derrissaw, AVT would make a ton of sense. And I understand it's not sexy, and I get that the Vikings can't trade down. They're going to be leaving a lot of value on the board. But if at the end of the day you come out with a first-round starting left guard, go ahead. Into the third round, number 78 overall, Peyton Turner, edge rusher out of Houston, 6'5", 270, senior, long, versatile edge rusher, plus you love the size. He's basically like a diet version of a Wake Forest Boogie Basham. Last year, 11 pressures, 5 sacks, and 5 games, a 90.0 PFF pass rushing grade. Can rush the edge, can kick inside on passing downs, also sets the edge uh, against the run. A really nice compliment to Dalvin Tomlinson and Michael Pierce. Plus, uh, eventually, he could take over at the left defensive end spot. Maybe Daniil Hunter switches over to the blind side, or if the Vikings trade Daniil Hunter. Ah! I don't want to say it. Don't speak it into existence. Also in the third round, number 90 overall, our Darius Washington, safety from TCU, redshirt sophomore, 5'8", a buck 79. Yeah, just pound for pound, he might be the toughest player in the draft. 91.7 PFF grade in 2019, five interceptions, two passes broken up, 11.6 quarterback rating with thrown at. Woo! Small but packs a punch and is not scared at all. Think of a combination of Buda Baker, Bob Sanders, and Honey Badger, plus Got great ball skills. I love it. Fourth round, 120. Vikings check the wide receiver box. Shy Smith. She out of South Carolina. 5'10", a buck 86. Uh, last season posted 57 catches, 633 yards receiving, four touchdowns on 84 targets for the Gamecocks. Also has a career 21.3 yards per kick return. Ran a 4'4", 340 at his pro day. A great wide receiver, three and return man for the Vikings. Fourth round, 126, Vikings double down offensive line. David Moore coming out of Grambling, 6'2", 350. That's right, 350 for the Loch Ness Monster. Redshirt senior, bowling ball man child. Just dominated his level of competition. Showed well at the senior bowl. Uh, just aggro, strong, underrated movement skills. Gets into the guard mix. I wouldn't be shocked if two years down the line, David Moore is starting at guard for the Vikings. Also in the fourth round, 135, with my favorite day three cornerbacks, Ambry Thomas coming on Michigan, six foot, a buck 83, senior, was a 2020 opt-out. 2019, posts an 80.8 PFF grade, three interceptions, three passes broken up, 56.3 quarterback rating with thrown at. Tough, feisty, has a size, solid press man cornerback, gets into that cornerback mix for the Vikes. Rounding out the fourth round, 144, Dio Odeyingbo, edge rusher out of Vanderbilt, 6'6", six six, 276, senior, taking a gamble on a medical guy, luxury of having a ton of draft picks because you get a day two talent, uh, but it, he's going to drop to the fourth round or even deeper in the day three because of his injury. He popped an Achilles before the senior bowl. Uh, he'll be up on blocks uh, for the 2021 season, but does have the length and explosion that will be a defensive line asset in the future. 2020, 75.2 PFF grade, 25 pressures, five sacks. I absolutely love Dio. Fifth round, 158, getting some linebacker help. Spielman always gets a late round linebacker. Tony Fields, a second, coming out of West Virginia University. Mountain Mama, six foot one, 222, senior. And he plays a lot like Eric Wilson, but a little bit better at the point of attack. Formerly was at the University of Arizona, transferred to West Virginia for his final season. A light, rangy linebacker for the minor passing game. Solid athlete. Will be in the special teams mix right away and then work up from there. Also in the fifth round, 169 overall. Nice. Kyrus Tonga, nose tackle out of BYU, 6'4", 322, senior. And we've talked about the Vikings could certainly add more depth on that defensive line. Michael Pierce is on a three-year deal. Dalvin Thompson is only on two. But, yeah, adding more meat to that interior. We got the meats. Great run defender, just a mountain of a man in the middle. And now you have Tonga, Pierce, and Tomlinson in goal line. Best of luck getting an inch, man. Yeah, the Vikings rebuilding that bully inside out. Uh, and finally, sixth round number 199, Brendan James, the tackle on Nebraska, six foot six, 300. Senior, Nebraska's left tackle for the last couple seasons. Does have size and strength, but 
Footwork-wise, probably going to be kicking to right tackle or potentially inside to guard. I think his ceiling could be uh, that of a swing tackle uh, in the pro game, but he would be a nice compliment to Blake Brandle, last year's six-round pick, left tackle out of Oregon State. And overall, I, I like this draft, but uh, of course, every single time that there's a mock draft, it's more about who you didn't get as opposed to who you did get. It's sort of like the Hall of Fame. Oh, who got snubbed? But nitpicking, no true three-tech, although Turner and Odeingbo can kick inside. No tight end, no quarterback. Uh, my favorite picks in terms of value have to be safety art Harris Washington the third cornerback Ambry Thomas and guard David Moore and in this draft you get two immediate starters right away in ABT plus I think our Darius takes over at safety Xavier Woods is that third safety big nickel uh, and then you have Turner Ambry and shy will be all high-end contributors early on uh, I think Turner will be in that defensive line mix Ambry I wouldn't be shocked if Ambry just works his way in. Uh, with, with a full offseason, full training camp, full preseason, I think that he could impress a lot of people. And then Shai Smith, of course, going to get in the return mix as well as probably be wide receiver three. And then Odiengbo is a wild card, man. Uh, it's, it's like getting a future pick. So he's probably going to be on IR or the pup all season long. And then you get him in 2022, fired up and just ready to go. And plus, I, I think that David Moore could potentially start down the line. So the Vikings get their two starting guards potentially in AVT and David Moore adding size. And then Ezra Cleveland kicks out to left tackle. Baby, we got a stew going on this offensive line. Woo. Well, like I said, fired up, like this draft. Let's go. And that's the Draft Network 7-round Minnesota Vikings mock draft. Uh, what are your thoughts on our thoughts, on their thoughts? Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Pull some of the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.